We have got large areas of peat, traditionally used by the country people as domestic fuel. In recent years, large-scale development of these boglands has been carried out by the government-sponsored body Borsna Mona. We are now using this further means of producing power from our native resources. The first of a series of peat-fired stations began work at Port Harlington in 1950 and the second at Allenwood in 1952. The Allenwood station is at present the largest of its kind in Western Europe. On the adjacent bog, the turf is won by machinery during a production and harvesting season that lasts for about eight months. Scooped out of the earth, it has passed through a macerator and emerges on the opposite side for spreading. During the last season, in 1955, Borthnamona increased production to a million tons. About half of this output is intended for the power stations. After further drying treatment, the turf is eventually carried by rail direct to the nearby power station, which burns about 200,000 tons in a year. The five-ton wagons are lifted from the bogies and hoisted to the roof. At roof level, the wagon is carried forward and the turf tipped into a bunker where its own weight carries it downward, ready for use in the furnaces below takes almost 400 tons per day to keep a furnace going at full blast. For every ton consumed, the station produces about 800 units of electricity. Enough, that is, to keep a 100-watt lamp burning continuously for nearly a year. In a peat station, as in all fuel-burning stations, the furnace is served to heat water. The water is turned to steam, which actually drives the turbines. The steam is then reconverted to water in a condenser and begins its journey again. A separate supply of water runs through the cooling pipes in the condenser. This water is carried from the cooling tower. Having passed through the cooling pipes, it goes for recooling to the tower, which is the most familiar feature of these peat stations. This one is 250 feet high. More of these peat stations are now under construction. One is nearing completion at Furban in County Offaly, and there's another underway at Lanesburn County Longford, while four smaller ones are being built at other points throughout the country.